Claudia Hürtgen in the BMW M6 convertible. Now it can reach 8,000 RPM. You can change gear at 8,000. You get that sound and in no time you're hitting 180. The BMW M6 convertible, a high-tech speedster with a 5-litre V10 motor and 507 horsepower. And yet, in spite of these imposing statistics, the car made in Bavaria is in everyday use and innocent, gentle as a lamb. You have a very good feeling in this car, and when you take a look at the speedometer, you think, oh, really? 200? You don't notice the speed because you feel so safe and confident. The speed catches you unawares. This is a very clever car indeed. It hits the 100 mark in just under 5 seconds, and 10 seconds later it reaches 200. The high revving motor concept and the sequential transmission are a perfect mix. Just a touch of a button and the driver can select the speed of the gear changes. So let's drop down the gears. The lowest, slowest setting. Now it's hardly noticeable when the next gear engages, very smooth, slow again. Now we select the most sensitive change speed setting and hit the gas. Now you feel the jerk when the gear engages super fast. The power is there instantly, that's the setting for a real quick getaway. Here, quick means up to 250 on the Autobahn and with a superlative 10-cylinder sound all the while. Sounds pretty good when a V10 is pushing 8,000 revs. So, yet another engine where the RPMs are music for the ears. I think that for a lot of drivers, the sound is really very, very important. Now it can reach 8,000 RPM, you can change gear at 8,000, you get that sound and in no time you're hitting 180. The next test, evasive maneuvers at normal driving speed. Here steering, suspension and electronic aids must work in perfect harmony. Well, I have to say that the change of course, the long change of course at a speed of 100, that the car handled very precisely. I had the feeling that the car was very exact, completely under control throughout the evasive driving exploit. Not bad for a car weighing 2,000 kilos. It is a heavy weight to be sure. Without driver, three quarters of the tank loaded with fuel, it weighs in at 1,975 kilos. There are SUVs which don't weigh as much. Fully packed, the M6 convertible tips the scales at 2,380 kilos. All this weight needs to be brought to a halt from its top speed of up to 250. At 200, the M6 can be brought to a standstill in an excellent 142 meters. From 100, a full stop takes only 35.5 meters. Four meters 87 of chaste elegance. Mighty 19 inch wheels with delicate 10 spoke design and behind them the perforated brake discs. In this white finish, the car is pure understatement. However, the M6 is not lacking in flair. Everything is harmonious. Delight is in details, like the boots rucksack. Almost unheard of for a BMW, the M6 is almost completely equipped as standard. Metallic finish, leather seats, radio, heads-up display, climate control. There are optional extras, 
parking assist or wind deflector costs just a bit more. Otherwise, you have 5 litres displacement and 520 newton metres of torque ready to go. An M6 buyer needs to know exactly what he wants from 507 horsepower. I ask myself what I am really looking for. On the one hand, what I have with the M6 is a convertible in the luxury class. And then, I have a sports car in mind, I look at the data. 507 horsepower, 529 newton meters, and say, OK, it can move. But if my real goal is a real sports car, then the M6 convertible would be the wrong purchase. I'd have to go for a lighter model, perhaps a Z4 Coupe. However, with the right pair of hands on the wheel, the M6 can be sporty enough and thoroughly intriguing. Speaking of the steering, although it's a convertible, a luxury cabriolet weighing 2,000 kilos, the steering is precise and you appreciate the dynamics BMW have built into this car. The BMW is technically perfect and it successfully has a foot in two camps. Spanning the divide between luxury convertible and sports car, not easy. But this is a ride I would certainly enjoy from time to time. With the M6, you can be sure of making new friends, the owners of filling stations. Although a consumption of 15.2 litres of Super Plus is claimed, our test saw the BMW thirsting for 3 litres more. In fact, this can rise to 27. For Claudia, this is, for many reasons, just a car for special occasions. It makes me think of summer, blue skies, blazing sunshine, fun behind the wheel, a ride offering pure enjoyment. I do a lot of autobahn driving and I could well imagine pleasurable trips with a car like this. I like it when you can hit the gas and with perfect dignity pass all the others in the slower lanes. Yes, in summer, uh, it would be a good car, even for me. The BMW M6 convert Suspension and engine are almost too perfect and so, for true sports car lovers, a bit boring.